if, you, then, I. It's just that simple. If you do this thing for me, then I can do this thing for you. This will help you make sure that you are being perceived as somebody who's trustworthy, collaborative, and someone that they want to work with. This is how you get the likability factor without giving away the farm. Make them feel like they are getting something for it, even if it's a confirmation by the end of the day. I mean, I was going deep in the heart of Texas and dealing with men who said to me to my face, what are you gonna teach me, little girl? I looked a lot younger then. <laughs> And I started to realize that I bucked the trend for a lot of the things that women typically do in negotiation. So when we use all these extra words, it's because we're not feeling very confident. So my goal in helping people remove some of these words from their vocabulary is helping them feel more confident. And when you feel more confident, it shows, and you're more successful as a result. You might think it's the person who's the loudest and bangs their fist on the table, and that's just not true. The most effective negotiations come from these skills. This is the secret to every negotiation. It is the power of pause. It's that ability to shut up, not just verbally, but the ability to quiet your mind. So if you can find a way to press this mental pause button, you give yourself the mental runway to be able to bring the rational thought back in and to make better decisions and to speak diplomatically and to speak in a confident way and to be empowered in everything that you do. Have I exhausted every single piece of wealth that I can accumulate? What about things like vacation time, if that's important to you? What about flex time, so I'm not spending all that money on the TTC or whatever mode of transportation or parking? What about can they cover my cell phone? That's a lot less money out of my pocket, even yeah. though it's not technically in my salary. Car expenses, all sorts of things like that can add to making you wealthier at the end of the year, but maybe those budgets for salaries are all tapped out. So it's worth having conversations about the total compensation package. If I go in there first and I say, I can give you 5,000 for it, I'm now anchoring to this spot right here. And I'm gonna do everything I can to get them as close as possible to this. They're gonna counter as much as they can, but I've already planted this number on your brain, so it's like me trying to stay as close to this number as possible. So by going first, you're gonna finish the negotiation a lot closer to your figure.